Okay, some textbooks call this standard form. Some call it center radius form because it's easy to identify the center and the radius of the circle. So if the center is at negative 15 comma 9, that allows you to write x minus a negative 15, the quantity squared, plus y minus the y coordinate of the center, 9, the quantity squared, and all that remains is for us to figure out what the radius of that circle is and square it. Now here, this red graph is the graph of a circle with center at negative 15 comma 9, but the red circle is not tangent to the line y equals 8. This is the line y equals 8. And if a if a line is tangent to a circle, a uh, radius drawn from the center to the point of tangency is perpendicular to the, to the tangent line. Since this line is horizontal, we're looking for a radius that is vertical. And if we could figure out this point right here, then this distance would be the radius. That would be the R. Okay, so let's go to Desmos and look what happens when I change R. I want to get R so that the circle just touches right there. And if it just touches right there, the coordinates of this point or the point of tangency are negative 15 comma 8 and the distance well let me label that the distance from this point to this point is just one unit from 8 up to 9 9 minus 8 is 1 so we change it well there r is 1 so there's your equation right there we're replacing r squared with 1 now, some textbooks, this is center radius form. Again, some textbooks call that standard form. Some textbooks square these binomials and combine the constant terms to get what they call standard form. So if that's what your textbook's doing. This is x squared plus 30x plus 225. Plus squaring the second binomial, y squared minus 18y plus 81 equals 1. <laughs> and then we can combine the constant terms. Plus y squared minus 18y. Well, I'm going to have a 225 plus 81, 6, 10, 1, 306, minus this 1 that's on the right side of the equal sign. So plus 305 equals 0. When you're given an equation in this form for a circle, what you have to do is go through the process of completing the square to get back to here. I'll take you quick, quickly through that. x squared plus 30x plus y squared minus 18y equals negative 305. Then we complete the square by taking half of 30, adding, two tw adding the square of that. 15 squared is 225. So we've got to add 225 to this side. Half of 18, negative 18 is negative 9, squared plus 81, plus 81. Um, and then each of these binomials or trinomials can be written as a binomial squared. X plus 15, the quantity squared. 
this trinomial can be written as, because it's a perfect square trinomial as y minus 9 the quantity squared equals these add up to 1. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.